Hello, fellow Wanderers. I'm Entry, and thank you for joining me as we tour more of EQ Titan. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Guild Lobby and the Guild Hall. So to get to the Guild Lobby or Guild Hall, you come to the giant door, the one that has a mysterious voice next to it that says Guild Lobby. Go ahead and click it. Or if you're moving a lot of people, well, the first time you want to click it anyway, uh, it is group uh, context box, so just click it on all your leaders and then do a slash yes and it'll take you in with all of your people. Or just do a click it and then a slash yes. Either one works. So we're going to load the guild lobby. This is where most people hang out. This is generally where you bind. So you run down this hallway, go around this corner, and try desperately not to get stuck on said corner. And you come out to the main area here. I'm going to start by doing the side rooms, then I'll cover the center. So if you go to the right or the left, they are mirrors of each other, so don't worry which way you go. So that room there is useless and empty. But if you come to the side room here, you're going to see a bunch of people in black robes. Over here, you've got a banker. Over here, you've got a summoning reagents vendor. If you click him and you sort by quantity, he sells soul stones. If you die, you could buy a soul stone, give it to a corpse summoner, and they will summon any of your corpses from anywhere, including rotted corpses. And if you need to know which one you need to use, well, if you right click it, expand it out a little bit here. Summons the corpse of a player up to level 40. They go all the way up to level 70, and they do get very expensive. So, you know, keep that in mind. The minor soul stones only work to level 20, though you don't need them before level 10. All right, he can also, you can also sell stuff to him, so he works as a vendor. In the back is a soul binder. This is your first time playing on the server. Bind your soul here. It makes corpse runs a lot faster. One thing to keep in mind in this place is that debuffs, or buffs and debuffs don't tick down. All your buff slots are paused. So, yeah. This is a good place to buff up before going anywhere. In the back, you've got a Magus. She can take you to all the standard Waystone locations, including Nadaria's Landing. So if you need to use a Magus to get around, talk to her. Or if you need to get back here from out in a Magus camp, just say uh, Guild to a Magus or Group Guild. It will send you right back. So, the Central Chamber. Here is a server unique thing. Not the corpses. The corpses are on all the servers. Uh, littered around here are a bunch of buff bots. If you say certain things to them, they will buff you. Except the mage vendor. The mage vendor will actually, if you give them some money, they will give you some summoned items in case you don't have your own mage. So they can make you food and water, uh, bandages, pet weapons, arrows, things like that. Uh, they're pretty expensive, so level a mage. Really, just level a mage. Druid here, uh, he can do uh, Spirit of Wolf, S-O-W, uh, Spirit of Eagle, S-O-E. He can put on a group damage shield, uh, which is just DS. Uh, and he can do Regen, uh, which is just Regen. And then he can also do, if you give it, tell him to do Pure Blood, he can remove uh, dots, poison, uh, all sorts of different dots, uh, poisons, curses, diseases. And uh, they are all group-wide. Uh, all of these people are, are group-wide, even if it only looks like they're giving you the single buff. Uh, it does work on everybody. Furiona V here. Ha, 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 ha. Um, she can put virtue on you. So you just say virtue to her. She'll give everybody virtue. If you need to heal everybody up quickly, just spam virtue from her. It'll heal you up. And then the enchanter. Uh, haste will get you haste. If you say clarity, uh, I believe it's just clarity. Make sure. Slow. Um... Say C2 to uh, this person, they'll give you C2. If you're at least level 20, you say KEI, they'll give you Codex Endless Intellect. And that's the buff bots. Uh, if you're a new player, if you've got your first group and you're just looking to level, these are guys are great. Get all your buffs, uh, get your damage shield, go out and uh, hunt in the low level zones. Uh, especially if you do Poodle to 20, you get your Far Stones. And you come here, you go to Nadaria's Landing. You can hunt in Nadaria's Landing up until about 35-ish? 35-ish, and you can keep your buffs. And then even then, when you get to 35, if you want to do like Natimbi uh, afterwards, you can get your buffs, do a quick jaunt to Nadaria, then do a quick jaunt from Nadaria to Natimbi, and you will be all set to go use that damage shield for the 15 or so minutes it lasts. In the back here is the guild hall. You need to be in a guild to go in the guild hall. I am in Soulmark. Click 
this. It is not group context sensitive, so you'll need to use a click it command to get everybody inside. But there are several nice things in the guild hall that make it worth setting up your own guild. Uh, if you didn't watch the last video, there's a plastic surgeon uh, directly outside the guild lobby that can form a guild for you. You don't need GM intervention. All right, here we are. We are in the guild lobby or guild hall. Here you have a bunch of trade skill containers. So if you're looking for to do trade skills, you can just click these things and you can do trade skills. There's a forge and there's a pottery wheel and there's a, another forge. I think this is a forge. I might be wrong. Oh, nope, that's a kiln, sorry. Kiln, you got a brew barrel, you've got a loom. I think you have a loom. Oh, oh, there's a loom. It looks like a loom, go figure. So trade skill stuff over there. You've got a banker here. You've got a guild tribute master. I don't believe these are currently enabled. They aren't, shouldn't be until Omas of War. Guild banker for a guild bank. And around here, oh, I almost forgot. Augmentation stone canister. So if you need to augment your items, you can do it here inside the guild hall. And augmentation supplies. So if you need some of the insanely expensive uh, augmentation distillers, uh, there you go. That's how you remove augments when keep the augment uh, uh, from breaking. Here is a rapid healing, rapid mana regen pool in case you need to get your mana up. And here's the teleport guy. So this is a teleporter. It is group context sensitive. You can do a slash yes. And if you talk to this guy in the corner, he sells stones, you buy a stone, and then you hand it back to him, and he realigns this teleporter here to wherever you asked him to. Simple enough. And you know what? Uh, I am going to cover the bazaar as well because it's through another one of these little doors, and it's not too particularly complicated. But let's take a look around. Loading times, loading times. And this is on a solid state drive. It does take a while. I get my run speed song back. There we go. I love bards. I love bards because they're fast. Back to POK. All right, so if you just run this direction here, past the reagent vendor, you will find the other giant door. And this giant door leads to the bazaar. Go ahead and click it. All right, you're in the bazaar. You pop out here on this side. This is the revamped bazaar. It is not the original bazaar, just so you know. So when you run down here, you've got this person here. They direct you towards the Twilight Armor Quest person who is a little further in. To your right is the trade skill section. To your left is the passage to Shadowhaven. Going straight back, you see the big open area here. This gentleman here sells the trader bags. And then there are just various merchants on the walls here who sell reagents and things like that. So this is your reagent vendor. You've got a general spell vendor here. Plate molds, all sorts of different things. More plate molds. Yep, you get the idea. General vendors there. Smithy hammer. So if you want to work on smithing, 
you can in fact do it here. Nothing too crazy there. And then Discord Merchant. Uh, I don't think that's enabled yet, but I'm not sure. I haven't messed around with anything with Discord. Yep, more patterns. Anyway, if you go out the west exit, to your right is Nexus. The zone line is really close. You can run to zone from right here and end up with the Nexus. So do be aware of that. In the back, you have the Sable Master. These guys in the back here, the low level ones, those are the ones you sell extra bridles to in case you get some bridles as drops that you don't need. All right, to the left and the right, there are the teleports up to the sales area. So we're gonna go up the one on the right here, which is the Red Dragon Hall. It is kind of important to take this particular one. These platforms, by the way, are very sensitive to height and they seem to have a lockout timer on them. So you have to move them across them a little bit at a time. But here we are, and you've got a bunch of guards up here. But the big thing is, is down one of these hallways here is Biufu Nubob. Talk to her, and she has the Twilight Armor gems for sale. So when you go to do your Twilight Armor quests, this is how you get to her. And of course, there's bankers on the inner ring here. And of course, the teleport back down is also here in the inner ring. And the blue one is basically identical. One thing to note, if you do do a bazaar search, find an item, doesn't matter what, and you right click the seller, it teleports you directly on top of them where you can grab your items. That being said, I think that covers what I need to in this video. So until our paths cross again, have fun and be safe everyone.